Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I wanted to answer another question of the week. And the question I got a few times this week is what do I do if I didn't do what I was supposed to for court? This is a case where someone is placed on probation. They were ordered to do certain things and they didn't do it. They didn't take their classes or they got kicked out of the classes. They didn't pay the fines or do the labor whatever it was that they were supposed to do they didn't do and now it's been days weeks months or even years down the road and the person is trying to clear up and fix that problem when someone does not comply does not follow the terms of their probation there will be a warrant that issues for their arrest that warrant will trigger a suspension of any licenses this could be a driver's license fishing license and can cause a lot of problems for people sometimes people go years without having any contact with law enforcement so the fact that they don't have a license or there's a warrant out may not be a huge problem but eventually it will catch up with them maybe they want to travel somewhere it's important that we go into court voluntarily rather than being picked up on this warrant and arrested and brought to court. So if somebody is in violation of probation, there are things that can be done. And the most important thing is having your attorney with you go to court on your own with the attorney before you get brought in by the police. This is going to show the judge and the prosecutor that you're taking responsibility and taking steps to correct the problem. We then need to be able to explain to the judge what happened, where and why, and let them know that you are there to fix the problem and get back to doing what you're supposed to do. There are things that your attorney may recommend that you do before you go to court, but you're going to want to get to court early. Now keep in mind, I am a defense attorney, but I'm not your defense attorney, so you want to get legal advice for your specific case. But oftentimes, I will have clients start to do several different things before we go to court, get into court within a few days, get the warrant recalled, and get the person back on track so we can remove any holds, get them a valid driver's license or other licenses that they need, and get back to a normal life as soon as possible. Believe me, if you get a good attorney and you work with that attorney, follow their advice, and go into court with that attorney, you're going to be far better off than if you get picked up on a warrant, and that attorney will know the judge, will know the prosecutor, and know what needs to be done to get the best possible result for your case. If you've got a question, I try to answer a common question every week, so send me a message or shoot me an email with a common question, and maybe I'll be able to do a short video for you. If you've got more questions, contact my office and I'll be happy to talk. 310-424-3145. Take care and be safe.